new series called Returning to Flight RC. I'm Trevor. I'm Stephen. And we're brothers. It's, uh, it's sort of, well, you, you could, could see we're right? brothers. Anyway, so basically, we haven't been flying for around about 15 years, maybe? Yeah. 15? It's not they 20, is it? Could be 20. away in the attic. Um, a lot of these aircraft are ones that we've, we've had in the past, and a lot of them we've managed to secure and buy quite recently some quite yeah, recently yeah. Um, obviously a lot of them are old models and that is the purpose of this series we're basically going to take these old aircraft we're going to strip them of their um, FM FM kit yeah. FM yeah. kit and we're going to replace them with brushless motors or those that are IC I mean what's this thing <laughs> He's a bit broke, but we're getting going. We're going to radio all of this kit up. We're going to get it up in the air. And we're going to give old vintage, forgotten about, pre-loved aircraft RC and get it in the air. Welcome back to another, another episode of bringing them back to the air. Now, we have seen... No, I can't say that because I don't know whether... No, this is going to go afterwards, isn't it? So we've seen the Pterosaur, which is the MD-1400, I believe. And this is very similar. However, we stripped out these huge components. So that's the replacement. The wind's coming up now. This motor was in there. Very, right. very heavy. Very, very heavy. And uh, what is it? Uh, nickel metal hydride, 7.2 volt, but 2,800 milliamps. That's what they ran on. And they were very powerful and they give you loads of time in the air. The tails were awful. They kept snapping. So I've put this tail on. Um, I forget what it's off. That wing's been um, I forget what it's off. Uh, anyway, so I've had to flatten down the rear end um, to, for it to accept the V tail. It does seem a bit tail heavy, but I've got the battery all the way to the front, which is a 22 milli 200, oh, 2200 milliamp battery, 3S. Um, and I believe, what is it, a 30. 30C, so I can get 600 bursts on that, uh, 60 bursts on that. Um, so inside was this old school um, FM um, crystal style um, gubbins. Now I've had to put the servers on the outside, same as the Pterosaur. Um, to get the control rods to actually do the work. They were elastic bands. Um, Just having a look. So on the rear you had elastic bands uh, on the old, what is this? A aero bird. A aero bird, aero yeah. bird. On the old aero bird they were elastic bands and it was uh, bits of um, fishing line, cat gut, uh, were the control. Um, so we've really upgraded this. It is only a, a three channel, you've got no ailerons, um, so you've got three channels, so you elevate, you have to have a mix set into the radio um, and it's best to have it in mode four. If you're used to mode two, you're better off having this in mode four, so you've got your, your normal controls in your right stick and just, you know, throttle on the left, there is, you've not got um, any yaw, not yaw, you haven't got any rudder um, on the left stick. So, we plug it in and hopefully it will fire up and we can see, try not to crash it because the wind's getting up a bit. Just today. pick it up a little bit. Uh, a little bit blower than other days when we've been up here. And we are on Aerobird. And we have good voltage on that. 
Let's check the battery, make sure we've got good bolts on that. And we are 97%, so that's pretty much where you're going to be anyway. So, throttle lock on, all the switches up, and plug her in. There we are. So, it lowered that. Put a bit of tape on the canopy. He did have a spring-loaded canopy, um, which is very annoying. She just couldn't get in there, and it kept scratching her hand up. So we we'll tape it. Right. So checking the controls. Now, with the VTAL, when you go, when you go right, they go down. So it's opposite to a normal set of ailerons doesn't make it, it it's hard to comprehend but that's it that's how it is so let's check the, the throttle <laughs> it's got some shall we get this in the air yeah go for it straight down the field i think the, straight down, yeah, yeah the wind's wind. coming got the wind coming <laughs> Beautiful night. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. Still so heavy though, isn't it? Yeah. To, um... You've got some wind coming up there. Yeah. Two speed bumps. You keeping an arm tied? Yeah. How long do you want on this one? Um, five. Yeah. Remember the old setup? We used to get like 15, 20 minute flights out of it, didn't we? Yeah, we used to get a long flight. A lot of flights. And they're, they're actually really good in the wind, really controllable. Yeah, you can almost hover, can't you, in high wind? Yeah. Oh, I nearly lost you. <laughs> I think it's probably a little bit underpowered. Maybe it needs a 2200 kV. It certainly needs more nose weight. Nice. Let's have a nice slow. The wind's just coming up into your faces here. Are you getting a zoom in alright? Yeah, now and again. It uh Yeah, it's lovely. I've tried. Again, a good good fun, good park flyer. Yeah. It's a shame you can't you just can't buy them. They 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 anything much slower than that they will stall. And unfortunately you can't get the wings anymore. I don't know whether the pterosaur wing will go on it. I think, I think it would, but you just have to get rid of the air ailerons. Just take the ailerons, glue them, fix them. Whoa. No, no, I think I'll wire the ailerons in. <laughs> or wire them in, yes, but if you wanted a V-tail... I keep wanting to apply rudder, but I haven't got a rudder, really.
can you can you do some lower flying The sun, you're making my life difficult here. Right. Hold on, let me give it a longer run up. Low and slow. slow. Oh, not that low. Didn't have the oak to pull out. He's crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Maybe I stalled it. I'm not sure, but we'll check the battery. See how much more we got on it. What do you reckon we were flying that for? Three, four minutes? Yeah. Right, let's check the battery. You were flying very slow on that wind, so perhaps as you turn, it just, yeah. that's it, had to stall. What have we got? Right, battery's lovely. Speed controller's not really warm. Well, running it that slow, it's not going to be, is it? Okay, get get round and have a look at this. Let's turn the controller off, save a bit of juice. Sixty-six percent. So it was a stall, wasn't it? So let's check each cell. Three nine. Three nine. Three nine. Three nine. Hey. Start again. First cell. Three nine. Three six. Three nine. Yeah, there we go. Had a bit of a glitch there. I reckon, 66% there, I reckon I'll fly it up. Just chuck another minute up. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah, get, get it back up. Everything looks in line. Uh, servos, just check them all again. Yeah, should I turn it on? Did I plug this in? Can't have done. Uh, plug it back in. There we are. Check the servos. Everything's working as it should. 66% back in there. I reckon a minute, minute and a half. We can okay, yeah. I'll time you for a minute and a half. Wait a minute. Wait one second. Right. The wind's coming from down there. Okay, so ready when you are. Don't forget the wind is coming up the field, so you may have to come, just come diagonally across the runway. I know it's landing downhill slightly. That's it. She's in. 
we got it up in the air again. <laughs> Sixteen year old. Here. <laughs> um, I know we've got older throttle lock, so I don't cut cut the fingers. But we've done that before. Haven't we? I think I may have got the landing in. Are oh, you joking? Waste of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sun bleached. There we go. Oh, let's just have a look at the. It's uh, great. Yeah. Let's have a look through the batteries again. Right, so that's quick. I mean, the nice thing about the front around. of the front of there, it's a nice soft yeah, sponge. Yeah, look at that. They know, they know you want to. They know you're going to crash it. Crash it's a good, it. They were a good beginners. Very strong. Um, part. Oh, I just wanted to say part flight. Look, fifty-five percent. Fifty-five. Look. Fifty-five. Let's have another lap. Let's have another lap. <laughs> another lap, and I'll get you landing properly this time. Yeah, do, do, do. Another lap. Controls. It's, the, it's the famous, just one more. Yeah, let's have one more. It's the famous, just one more. Just one more. He's <laughs> away. Let's get a nice landing. You can pull it off. Doesn't help being um, tail heavy neither. It, it finds, you know, you're having to fight that as well. Oh, background. Let's go right over by the hangar. And then come in at this angle. Yeah, here. bit of an angle. Are you getting it? Yes, it's it's within view. That wind's just dropped off. Look how slow that is. Nice and gently. <laughs> Look at that. Steady as she goes. <laughs> that was beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Well, there we are. So. <laughs> That's the old aero bird. That's the aero bird, look. That's the only right. trouble with the servos, look. Grassy. You get grass around them. You could put a little cowling around it, I suppose, just to protect them, but. Yeah. The wheels that they used to have were pretty good, but they stopped Sprung dead. Loaded, I, I must they just have stopped a set. dead. I must have a set yeah, we'll have a set somewhere. And, and they were I mean, pretty good. You know, this runway designed for. Uh, Full size aircraft, so we need to get our little things aren't going to put up. We need to get a roller carpet, right? Is that the Aero Bird debrief? That's the Aero Bird, um, rebuilt right back in the day 2006 RTF. You could buy this for uh, I think it's about 140 quid. Come on, they like were, were expensive, weren't they? It's about one, 170 dollars. Um, uh, what were they? Hobby King, I think. Were they Hobby King? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. It's a big a long time box. ago. But they were good fun. Um, we've got it back out. Hang a rash all over it. We've upgraded it. And we've had a good flight. I reckon that's good for 8-10 minutes with that small um, battery. Get a bit of nose weight on it and have some fun. So that's it for the uh, Aero Bird. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching us again. Uh, thanks to our subscribers. If you aren't subscribed, click the button, subscribe to us, and then that way you will probably get the, the, the series in sequence rather than trying to find them. But if you go to the bottom description bar, the, <laughs> the next video will be on there. So just <laughs> click on that. But do subscribe. We got a lot more planned. See you next time. Goodbye.